Hey there, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the process of adding a conditional visibility feature in your Webflow forms. So if you have a select dropdown and the user selects other, a please specify field will appear. And if they select anything else, it will not show up. So here we are back in designer view and all I have set up so far is a basic contact us form. We have inputs for first name, last name, email, phone number, a how did you hear about us select drop down, a message input, and a checkbox to agree to the terms. And in this how did you hear about us drop uh, select field, we have the following choices. So I have the initial select one, then I have search engine, social media, radio slash television, referral, and other. And you'll notice if you select other, I have both the text and the value set up. This is going to be important later on when we add in our custom CSS. So you want to make sure you have both the text and the value set up and specified with, with it labels. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our form field wrapper that houses both the how did you hear about us label and the input. And in this form field wrapper, we're going to add in a div. So I'm going to go control or command E and I'm going to add in a div block. And I'm going to call mine, I'm going to give it a class name of other-reason-field. You can label yours whatever you want, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to call it other-reason-field. So I'm going to go other-reason-field. And in this div, we're going to add both a field label and an input. So we can go control or command E. We're going to give it a text block. And we're going to give it the same class as the labels we're using throughout. So I'll go search for the label, we'll give it a form field label, and we're going to have it say, please specify. And then we're going to select this form field label, and we're going to give it a combo class of is other. And I'm going to add a top margin of 0.5 rem. The reason I'm doing this is because when it slides in, slides in, I don't want it to be hugging the bottom of the select input. So this will give it some space and separation from the select input. Then below that, we're going to add in an input. So control or command E, add in an input. And we're going to give it the class of form input. So form underscore input. And we're going to name the field as other please specify so that way when the user gets the email they'll know what this is about the plane is the type is plain and we want to make sure that required is unchecked and we'll give it a placeholder of please specify and you want to make sure it's required is unchecked because remember unless the user has selected other in the initial select they're not going to know that this field exists. So you want to make sure it's not required so that no errors come in the form and users can submit it without any issues. So now that that's set up, we're going to go back to our other reason field and we're going to move it down 0.625 rem. So that way it can slide in when the user selects other. So we're going to go down to 2D and 3D transforms and we're going to move it down 0.625 rem or 10 pixels, so 0 0.625 rem. And then we're going to drop the opacity down to 0% and give it a height of 0 rem so it doesn't take up any space in our form when it's not visible. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some transitions so that way when it animates in, it's not as abrupt. So we're going to go to transitions add one for transform and I'm going to make the duration 675 milliseconds with an easing of ease and then add another one for opacity 675 milliseconds add an easing of ease and now that that's all set up I'm going to add in our custom CSS so we can go control or command E and I'm going to add in a code embed and I'm just going to paste in the following CSS and what this is going to do is it's going to find if our form has the value of other checked or selected and if it does it's then going to go find the other dash reason dash field 
and it's going to change the opacity back to 100%, give it a height of auto, and move it up to its default position since we moved it down 0.625 rem. So I'm going to save and close. And then if we go in preview, if we go to our how did you hear about us select, the user can select search engine, nothing will happen. They can go social media, nothing will happen. But if they hit other, the please specify field will slide in and they can type in their answer to specify how did they hear about us. So I hope this helps. Thank you for watching and have a great day.